So we are looking at how to put a hole through a solid surface that's on a diagonal or this works for a curve as well. If I try and push pull this through right now, it won't give me an option for on face. Even if I touch the top, it won't go all the way through because if I orbit around, the computer looks at each each surface of the wall as different solids, so it won't come all the way through, even if I, you know, delete it. So it won't go through. So what you need to do is a little bit of a workaround. I'm going to show you over here. So on this particular wall, we need this window to be a certain height off the ground. So I, what I've done is I've drawn a guideline here and then up for the amount of um, inches it needs to be, but you don't actually have to do that because you can get your push-pull, you can draw the lines after the fact and then use your push-pull to move to wherever your line, your guideline is. So um, I just did it just to have it a reference. Then what you're going to do is draw a rectangle out at outside of your object, not touching it, kind of, you know, just in the middle of nowhere and, you know, vertically, obviously. And then you're going to use your push pull tool to push it all the way through. So don't draw the rectangle on the surface. You're going to draw it outside the surface and then push it all the way through. So it looks like this. So now what we're going to do is we are going to get our arrow and we're going to select the object. Now I need to make sure I select all of the object, but I don't select the walls. And I just want to, let me try that again. And I'm going to try that one more time. And I just want to orbit and look at it from underneath to make sure that I got the under part. Yeah. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click. No, I'm not. I'm going to right click, intersect faces with model. Okay. Which means kind of like join them. So now I can delete. Now, if you made this like a group before you did this, um, it'd be easier. But this doesn't take too, too long. And then I'm going to delete this. And then I'm going to orbit this way and delete. And now it shows all the way through. So again, if you didn't do the wall exactly, what you can do is use your pencil tool, get the midpoint of this section and draw up, you know, if the wall is supposed to be, I can't remember what this window is off the floor, maybe it's 41 inches off the floor, and then just push pull the bottom of your window up to meet that end. And then you've got the correct measurement. So you can adjust it after the fact. Okay, hopefully this was helpful.